ladies and gentlemen, good morning. I know exactly what you're thinking. I wonder whether this lecture is going to be any good. Well, I have to tell you that I'm wondering that too. You must remember that I've not spoken in public for well over two years, and I'm also that much older. So I hope I can still do it, but over the next two weeks, we're certainly going to find out. Can you hear that little voice in the background? So there we have it. Who's that, Jack? That's the captain. Yes, it is. Uh, will be fine, however, they don't sound like captains anymore. Captains used to be, hello, ladies and gentlemen. And said, They're a bit more polite these days and more um, gentle. Yes, less robust. So we're on the Ventura. We are it's the something, it's, it's, it's early April. It's the 5th of April. It's the 5th of April. 2022. Two, yes. And I've done my first lecture. What's more, I actually felt after I'd done it, I thought, oh, right, I remember how you do it now. It all came back. I wasn't very good at stepping up on the stage. That was rather weird. I thought, how do you do this? Oh, there you are. She just, just <clears throat> he said, that was a demonstration just for the casual view. <laughs> but um, we're winning. It's nice and it's lovely to be back doing this kind of thing. It really. So this is the pool deck on the Ventura and we're just going to go and have a little early buffet dinner. They've got a very nice indoor pool as well. Tomorrow night is formal. It is formal, indeed it is. So we're going to go and dine properly tomorrow. Yeah, we're going to put on our best um, Levi jeans for that. <laughs> You're not going to put on our best behaviour, never do. No. A nice range of salads and puddings and things. I must admit, Piano do a very good presentation. I think after tomorrow's um, posh night, I think we've gone salads and a little bit of cheese and nibbles and leave it at that for our meals. Permission to choose a hard boiled egg, madam? Um, yeah, okay. These little nibbles of cheese. Mm. And it's not from like the salt in your mouth, mm -hmm. but you want to be polite when you're having time off, eh? Mm. Nom, 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 nom. <laughs> listening to the quiz and it's great fun for us to sort of get those brain cells working but we never never take part there's a reason why not if i did well people would say well of course the man knows everything that's why he's our lecturer but in fact i'd probably really badly and then everybody would think he doesn't know a bloody thing the man's a twat why is he lecturing to us so it's much better not to get involved, no matter how often they ask. And ask, they do. Question number 14. What are the three water signs in astrology? The only, the only water sign I know of is a damp patch on the kitchen ceiling. <laughs> Which, with any luck, will go away next month. Yes. That would be all right. Mm. Bars like this on ships, which face forward as a rule. Can't think of another one to face aft. Of course, they used to have a sort of flying bridge that went right across from one side of the ship to the other. But they they took them off nearly all the ships because the captains found that the wind pressure on them was so much it interfered with navigation. Jelly and I have often wondered 
why didn't the ship's architect work that out for himself? It's ridiculous, isn't it? I mean, that's why you get architects to do it, because they're <laughs> clever and can work it all out. Yes. There you go. So why are you paying your designer if you can't work out that? Yeah. That's the bit Daddy likes best in this bar. Film at Paris played on all these video screens, so it looks live. The water ripples, car lights drive past. As she says, you could imagine you're on a bateau mouche chugging along with the real Paris behind you. That's unique. Never seen that before on a ship. Yeah, I've never actually seen quite as many kids having so much fun as this. It's really great. And the adults are learning skills too. I and mean, you can learn to do Indian clubs well, that'd be quite a neat trick. I'd like to be able to do that myself, but I'm too old now. Having such a riotous laugh in the pot. Isn't it good? Yes. Mine is a Guildford Crescent. Guildford Crescent swimming pool? Yay! Well, the smell is the same too. Yeah, it is. And the sound, <laughs> the sound. And that's what it's like outside. We crossed the Bay of Biscay. It's been amazingly calm the whole way. So there we are. Just um, all arranged, ready for the formal evening, which is on night three. A bit unusual. And um, we're going to go and dine. Don't normally dine because you just get fatter and fatter and fatter. <coughs> I've already got fatter and fatter. Um, so, and how are you, Jenny? Coming on well? Hello, well. I just need to do my hair and then I think I'm ready for boogieing or hobbling. Yeah. <laughs> going to be a nice evening there, isn't it? That's it, you do look. Ooh, I'm well. exhausted already just watching. <laughs> this is the second only time we've had an inboard um, stateroom. And it's very good actually, no problem at all. I don't feel claustrophobic. It's beautiful room. Yes, the last time we had an, an inboard cabin was when we went on the QE to his passengers in 1981, I think. <laughs> But it's quite amazing. I mean, an inboard cabin makes so much sense. Yeah. And of course, with the telly showing the view outside, then yeah. you can just look forward anyway and see what the weather's like. Yeah. Meanwhile, when you come in and, and shut the door, it's peaceful. Yes, it is. And also, it's bound to be dark. Yes. Got yes. no sun coming in at ridiculous hours. Yes, that's very true. It's very good. Now, of course, we're on deck A, which is the poshest of the decks and the great advantage of that is that we've got a walk-in closet which is such an amazing improvement on those crappy little wardrobes because the trouble with those wardrobes is that these slidey doors always come out of their runners or they you know were cheaply made lightly made and so they swing open and click all night long but here you stroll in and you effortlessly <laughs> sort your clothes Remember, we had a huge walk-in closet on the QE2, which was, I think, bigger than most cabins. So this one is big and spacious and luxurious and nice. And it's in board. I must admit, it's quite a revelation. Those delicious little model microscopes make the perfect cufflinks for a night like tonight. So Temperature-wise, the wind has been coming from the southwest that's the chappy doing his antimicrobial antivirus spray and those are the sprays everywhere <laughs> what a gentle bay of biscay crossing and what delicious weather well so far I was just reading the paper before we have our evening break. Um, just looking at the um, chaos of Manchester uh, Airport. So please, we're not flying. Curiously, the cruise that we were actually contracted to be on mm -hmm. this month was a transatlantic one from Miami with Seaborne. And we cancelled because of the appalling burden of having to fly. Mm -hmm. um, 
I mean, when you see airport scenes like you saw in Manchester. And London. Oh, yes. Like Here, here's the fact. All the cruises this year sail, sail from Southampton. There's not an aeroplane anywhere in sight. Cheers. Here's to cruise ships rather than <laughs> aeroplanes. Yes. Beef Wellington night. Um, one, two, three. So, Yali? Yes, darling? How is the wedding? So far, excellent. Really? Mm. If Yali's happy, Brian's happy. The world's happy. <laughs> the world's happy. Guy could not be more apologetic. He said, I was happy. This is extra, this is nice. Cherries and bits and bobs and clotted cream ice cream. How does that look to you, Yellow? Perfecto. Oh, perfecto? Blimey, I wonder if it tastes I perfecto. I <laughs> <laughs> Yes, um, we've all had fun, <laughs> but uh, we're all <laughs> yeah. uh, Yes. Now, now we're out of. Uh, yeah. Now we're out of the port. Oh, by the way, I've got to tell you that um, the police. We asked them if they could stamp our passports, and they said, "Well, it's not necessary." And I said, "No, but it's a souvenir because next month is digital." So they chatted, then they unlocked a cupboard, got out an ink pad, rummaged in a drawer, and found the stamp. <laughs> And they all joined, it was like a, almost like a sort of short party going on in there. And um, so they stamped it and waved us out with great big smiles. We were very, very happy yeah. to get and they were very, what very nice. will be the last time to get a passport stamped in Spain because it'll just be zipped and digital in future, which is so boring. Yeah, You know, Strelitzia really is the most remarkable flower. I wish we could grow them in the garden in England. You remember the, the, the it's the pop, yeah? It's the, <gasps> oh, wow. The microscope. Oh, what fantastic box. Oh, wow. What a pretty little replica. Oh, isn't that lovely? That's very clever. That's beautiful. I do love the case. <laughs> no, it's, 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 it's a very good replica. Let's look at the case. It's the, it... Oh, that is just so incredibly clever. Okay, okay, two for me. Yeah, okay. Take care. Bye. So this is their brand new shopping centre, only opened a few weeks ago. It's quite magnificent. So I must say, this looks like quite a good shopping centre to me, Daddy. It really, really does. And... <laughs> It has a Primark. Oh my goodness Yay. me. Yeah. Do you notice plush soft seating? Yeah. Welcoming everybody to rest, rest and relax. How very unlike England. <laughs> yeah, very much so. Jaddy has just bought essential supplies. Coffee and cakey! Yay! What are the cakes like, Dad? Very European. In, in what way European? They just have that different taste. I think because they, I think they use semolina, do they? Semolina. Shall we try and root out the recipe? Yes. Very nice. 
great massive shopping centre. It also includes the local station and this tremendous view, huge window. You can see right across the bay. That's the way to design a shopping centre, isn't it? Well, yes. We wouldn't be able to do that in the fence because there's no vista. Oh. <laughs> so think of it, people are going to queue up to drive over that new bridge yeah. just because it's 50 feet in the air and it's the only place for miles it is. <laughs> That's the kind of thing you want in a, a shopping centre, something for the kids. This is what I'd like to show Alfie. I say, I'm sure he would approve of that. Why, you can also see the waterline. One of my continuing interests is the way that, although the Cornish claim the pasty, it clearly has Arabic origins in my view. And you find Cornish pasties, which aren't Cornish, everywhere else. Look here at these empanadillas. Now, is that a Cornish pasty? Or is it not? Of course it bloody well is. Always terribly important in these cities to check out the railway station. How often are the trains? Where do they go to? And where is the ticket office? Here, for example, you can go to Santiago de Compostela. And buying a train ticket to go to Santiago de Compostela for the day yeah. would be a far better bargain yeah. than buying a local um, tourist excursion, wouldn't it? Wouldn't it just? And so we'll just do up that the line. next time on our own -ish. I don't want to go to Santiago again. It's full of bloody oh, Catholics. Yeah, but it has nice little shops. <laughs> it does have nice little shops. The brave fishermen who created Vigo. And since the fishing industry collapsed, they're all now working on the till in the supermarket um, car park. <laughs> Hold on to your hats, dear. Yeah. Daddy, you don't have to stroll up the hill. You can be yes. carried up the hill. see these in Japan. I see them in most places, just not in Britain. Like going for a hike but without moving your feet. Lovely beautiful. The project, right. the 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 exhibition. This is the your paper. Okay, I say that's a wonderfully uh, authentic menu in this restaurant, it always is. Picking up Shigella jeans? Yes. Yes. That the same? That, uh, e. coli just reproduces and picks up jeans. Yeah. Whereas these are viruses that are manufactured by themselves. But you're right, if you had the two different strains in the same cell, then who knows whether they could exchange genes? I think that's a very interesting point. Um, uh, the mortality was very high. high. Um, for example, we saw the, the, the variant uh, South Africana and in Spain, it's middle. No, 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 it's different comportment. Um, <laughs> Just wonderful to be back here. Very, very nice. It's a great reunion after the uh, the pandemic hiatus. So there we are, Jenny. That I think counts as filling the day to the last second. Yes. Always assuming we're back in time to board. Yes. So nice to see that you are both well. We're happy to see you, eh? <laughs> the, whole, the whole point of a, a day out like this is you get the maximum mileage out of it. Yeah. 
So if they board at 4.30, you don't really want to waste time. <laughs> There we are, there's the view as we come very gently nudging up towards where we dock in Lishboa, Lisbon. The big bridge in the background. Now that's interesting because according to the programme, you're a 15 minute drive by the coach that they will sell you tickets for from the town. But this is actually the port right by the old town. It's our favourite mooring. Don't know what the ship is, could be the Queen Victoria, but we have just heard that the Queen Victoria is actually moored in Barbados at the moment as a Covid hospital ship for the carnival group, so it can't be her. Yaddy and I first came to Lisbon 21 years ago, almost exactly, certainly this month in April 2001, when we did our first ever lecture cruise aboard the QE2. And here we are again at our favourite mooring by the old town. Ah, oh, that other vessel is Mein Schiff, so we all wish her a good Fahrt. Because Fahrt means journey in German. A bit embarrassing that when somebody with you have a good Fahrt, but we know what they mean. It's a gorgeous morning. It's only about uh, 15 or 16 degrees. We've had warmer days at home. But that beautiful sun and the limpid soft air. It's good for the soul. You never have to walk far in any city anywhere mm -hmm. to find peaceful little alleyways where nobody ever comes. That was quite incredible, wasn't it? Less than an inch on one side, so it's have to do it. <laughs> an old part of the Moorish defences. Good Lord, the change comes automatically. And to think, we were just imagining it, we're going to stop using money any minute. <laughs> Cheers, Jenny. Cheers, darling. That's utterly amazing. In England, when hardly anybody uses cash anymore, we've become totally digital. And out here, the technology's gone the opposite way. Now, the digital technology has been introduced in order to process your paper money and give you all the change. Of course, it means nobody can nick anything out of the till then, which makes sense. And of course, this is what you come for. Pastais de Willem. Javi, take your pick. Do you want the, um, I'll take that one because it's a bit, um, no, I'll take this one. <laughs> <laughs> so the great question is, how's that one? Very good. Excellent. Mm. This must surely be the origin of the English custard tart. Maybe they nicked it from us. They're the old trams. They've maintained the world, haven't they? Yeah. And this, children, this is what an old-fashioned shop was like. We came here many years ago. 20 years. 20 years ago. <laughs> and I bought some buttons from here to go on a, a dress of mine. And so we're here today from England and we wanted to see if the shop was still here. And here you are. Here. So good to see it. Oh. So what was it like going back into the button shop? 20 years later. Yes, and it, it isn't. It hasn't it, changed. No, it's not a modern store. It's not modern. Proper old fashioned shop. Yes. The 
Here we are, Jenny. Time for coffee break. And because uh, we work on the ship, we get the crew discount. <laughs> Even better. This is a work of art, this is. My goodness, that's wonderful. Thank you. Thank you so much. Oh. Just look at those. Aren't they amazing? Love that little raspberry on the top. I've <laughs> never seen anything like it quite like that ever before. The thing is, a cappuccino is called a cappuccino because it looks like a cappuccino monk. But I do not recall monks having raspberries on the top of their heads or indeed cinnamon sticks pecking out their ear holes. But as a celebrationary drink goes, this one is hard to beat. In Vigo, we had all the walkways going up the uh, middle of the road, which was really nice. But this is the one that I really, really remember from my very first trip to Lisbon, which is the elevator. Yes, that really is unique. The lift that goes right up to the higher level of the town. And then you can stroll down if you're so minded. It is amazing, isn't it? Yes, it's a incredible and and incongruous too it just you know it's great it's just there in the middle of town cast iron lump in the middle of the city is extraordinary it's their eiffel tower isn't it really exotic sausages vintage madeira more port than you can shake a stick at not that I've ever been certain what that phrase means. These food stalls just fill one with envy and gluttony. Those are just gorgeous. The cheese with squash everywhere and the ham would stick in your teeth. Oh yes, I suppose it would. Suckling cake, well, it's almost a Cornish pasty, isn't it? We are assured that the baby pigs never suffer when being slaughtered. I mean, if I could make sure that someone's around when my time comes to ensure I don't suffer, I'd be very happy. Well, we won't eat you. Well, I wouldn't make such a tender little soft pasty as this, would I? No. I think this could be the smallest shop I have ever seen in my life. Am I right? Uh, you don't, uh, maybe, maybe. In, in Lisbon, there, there is a, a smaller than this one. You're joking? Off. No, no, I'm joking. I'm not joking. In Alfama? No, in the, nearby the castle. Oh, I'll have a look. It's a bookstore. No, no, we're not training alcoholics. Just a very long time since we last had a drink. It's very important to keep up your fluids. If the fluids happen to come in a beer shaped glass, and have a distinct flavour of a beer-like nature. That's just part of the deal. Mm. Cheers. And cheers to you, Bobby. Refreshing, tasty, and very good for the like you said. And this, of course, is a proper linen shop. This is what shops, children, were like when Nana and I were small. They're not stores or supermarkets, they're shops. They're shops. In Britain, they've almost vanished. In Portugal, yes. they survive. And towering above the city is the mighty Edifice, the Castle of St George. Way, way up above the busy streets. On top of a mountain that we've often visited before. And which Jan helpfully suggests we might possibly ascend again today. <coughs> well, we've so far hiked all the way up from there. <laughs> Must be bloody mad. Crazy, Golly. crazy man. Yes. If the, my uh, idea. I beg your pardon. <laughs> I see. You shifting. didn't have to say yes, did you? Uh, I didn't dare <laughs> say no. No, it's a good idea. 
Um, at least you might think so in retrospect. Yes, in retrospect. I love the idea that they put pictures of people that were here before and have passed over and uh, celebrate the fact that they were here. Don Quixote and Senor Carlos, 2009. How lovely. Old ways of life still do go on. Well, already the town, city, big its part, looks a long way down, <laughs> 200 feet. Golden oldies, we are getting there, bit well, by bit. We've got here, certainly. Yes. We are still breathing. And not even noisily. And not even noisily. Wow. And the way they make them is easy. You pick up your little sort of Swiss roly poly slice of flaky pastry and then fit it into its um, little dish. Now that's interesting. I always thought that you cut it out a bit like, um, you know, pastry cutter. Well, we certainly didn't know that, so that helps a lot to know exactly what we're doing. We'll do it when we get out. We'll do it, yes. Not the moment. No, but... <laughs> but, but I'm sure that's why it has that particular texture. Yes. And I've never seen anybody say no, that before. No, we'd have rolled it out and cut it. And they cut it like mince yeah. pies. That's well, I'm boogered. Oh, little bugger. I understand budgerigaris, it means. Oh, let me out of here, please. Poor little sods. Born to fly, caged to die. Yes, and I'll charge eight euros. Eight euros fifty. Only if you're old, for senior, yes. Just to stroll around the grounds. Which we've done many times. And I... For free. But everything changes, not necessarily for the better. The old metabolic need for liquid seems to have struck yeah. again. Yeah. This round is on Gabby. Bloody end of my life. Up at the castle of St George. 320 feet above sea level. Oh yes. Yes, your castle, young George. Yes, St George's Day has never seen the same since we knew his garden. It's always seemed more special, hasn't it? Nourishment by cells for cells. A beautiful morning greets us as we wake up at sea. Now we're heading south and things really are getting a little bit more as the passengers expected. It's so nice to see the sunshine, isn't it? Yes, Big it is. Sky. That's what they all came for. Yeah, that's what they wanted. Don't know why they've all stripped off. I'm not stripping off, I can tell you. Everybody's out on the open deck, catching their desert cold, but enjoying the sunshine. That's the main thing. And today's meal was nice. White fish, nice cream potato, nice pea, very nice sauce, and an extremely nice alleged black forest mousse to finish. So we've snuck inside where there are very few people. The lovely view. We're going through the Wales foregathering area of the ocean fairly soon. So it may be, no promises, maybe we'll see a whale or two. But even if not, we have some of Gaddy's favourite, Krabby's alcoholic ginger ale.
time to have a drink after lunch and just ponder on life. Oh, they're so enjoying it. Good for them, that's what they came for. This, without wishing to be silly, is without doubt the best view anywhere on the ship. Of course, she hasn't got a bar on the, uh, on the prow of the vessel looking forward, so these are the only places where you can actually look the way the ship's going. So there is the coast of Morocco, a little uh, Moroccan itinerant fisherman out there. Interesting, you get so much carbon dioxide and water vapour, but there is no carbon coming out, even though these ships burn that black treacle-like sludge that's the residue after cracking and refining and distilling of petrochemicals. North Africa, a site I sometimes didn't think we'd ever see again, looking utterly captivating and exotic and mysterious and inviting. It's amazing to see, isn't it? Absolutely. Aren't they Lovely. wonderful? Yeah, so, Lovely. so uh, exciting. And I, I say to everybody, don't look for a black hump. Yeah. Look for somebody squirting a soda side with that one the air, because it's always <laughs> the blow you see first. Yeah, it was. But little hump back just waving at us as we went yeah. off. That was nice. And over on the port side, the Rock of Gibraltar. Everybody's having a brilliant time, and it is starting to warm up. Everybody's pumped up for this evening's formal. Uh, Jaddy is having a leisurely change and prepare and catching up on her novel, while I'm going to go and see a movie of our time, the Zeitgeist movie, something to do with um, digital assistance and the influence of social media. That will be fun. And the movie is in my venue yes the tamarind i have to say this club environment is the perfect venue to get going on literally again a theater would be intimidating but we get a couple of hundred people in here and sometimes standing at the back and you feel you can talk to people directly So Marco Pierre White has his uh, rather posh recommendations and otherwise we have an extremely good menu. That all looks really very good. If we go, then I'll say, you choose where we go. No, you choose. No. I mean, if you choose, I'll always find something. Yes, yes, that, yes. That I, I think really, Probably one of those Spanish um, menus that has pictures, so I'm more what things look like. Oh, that that uh, Mediterranean starter looks nice, Eddie. It does. Changed did, did a dance around stuff, and I was going, Do you know what? I'm so cold, I'm so cold. And it wasn't until the next morning, you know, I'd gone to bed and snuggled up that I actually felt warm. Yeah. I naturally got, 
I think uh, tantrums. Yeah. The irresponsibility of the teens. I know. I know. <laughs> Cloudy, cool and misty early morning in Cartagena. That's such a terrible, terrible shame. It's going to be warm and sunny later, but this uh, mean and moody, misty morning means that instead of running off the ship at the crack of dawn and getting breathless running up and down hills, we're just forced to take things easy and have a leisurely breakfast and we just can't rush anywhere. Because it's such a drain on one's vitality, having to sit here and just quietly, leisurely have a really lovely breakfast with nothing on one's mind. Such a shame. Oh, you want to be. Ah, sun breaks out. Ah, now it will get warm. Cartagena. And peace, relaxation, récupération. As those devilish French like to say. Somewhat battered looking Norfolk Island pine towering over the Arsenal entrance. Because if you're walking just a block over, you're just deluged with millions of locals and hundreds of tourists. Yes. And it is nice just to reflect. It's, a bit, isn't it? it's worth coming for the salon. Proper, lovely coffee. And as an early lunch, one of the gods' greatest gifts to humanity. A delicious, succulent, warm almond platter. Oh, goodness me. It's Sunday morning after church, yep. and I did see a child wandering around with a uh, a palm, yep. and a couple of people with sprigs of olive. Yeah. So it could be Palm Sunday. It could well be. I'm a bit rusty on the old church dude I've asked all these years, but oh, you randy little bugger! Do you see those sparrows? That's extraordinary. Doing it in public too. Anyway, it's warming up just a bit. And it's yes. just so lovely to relax, I can't tell ya. La la. It is later in the morning in Cartagena. Many hours have passed, so many that our fluids by now might be depleted. The situation in need of urgent, prompt rectification. I'm sure this is an answer to the problem. Do you know I think it is? Cheers, everybody. This is only purely for medicinal purposes. I'll take that, yeah? I'll leave those, yeah? Yeah. That's very nice. Thank you, Jaddy. Okay, babe. Young Jaddy, who is both fervent and observant, has spotted a rare sight a surviving windmill high on the hill. Well, this reminds us that in the old days, of course, the sails actually were triangular cloth sails, as they still are on the Sail cloth. Yes, yeah. as they were on the Mediterranean um, windmills everywhere. The fact that ours became sort of mechanically uh, regulated Venetian blinds to control the air and all that stuff yeah. is a later development. But they were once sails, and mm. I suppose strictly speaking, they're the great masts, aren't they? <laughs> <laughs> can't go anywhere in Spain without being smitten by that extraordinary Art Deco architecture. It really is breathtakingly beautiful. Wow, 
You're always very taken by those Art Deco buildings, aren't you? Yes. Lovely. Really lovely. So many in Spain. Yes, of course there are. But that's very pretty. Particularly in the sunshine. Right in the middle of town, just where Thomas said we find it. The world's first successful submarine. Those pioneers, either completely nuts, or very brave, or a subtle concatenation of both. Important place you always need to note, the mainline railway station. A little rail engine, look at that. Rather sweet. This is the very genus I first showed Jan in Jersey when first we met, the day we met, in 1970. These will be in bloom back home in a couple of months' time. All this coastline is dotted by these sharp little rugged hills, each one topped with a fort originally built by the Arabs, of course. The cities of the world are full of the enticing, peaceful little squares. Can they show pendants? You have to do it properly and be correctly garbed. And it doesn't strangely clue Clux Planish when you see these religious figures parading. Yeah. The um, slitty eyes and the tall pointed hood is a religious symbol, a form of garb that I seem to recall has been adopted by persons not terribly known for religious sensitivity elsewhere in the world. Well, what a perfect day to explore Cartagena. Utterly beautiful. This must be one of the nicest tables anywhere on the ships, is it in Reed, Jenny? Yeah. So, off to Gibraltar we go. Well, whatever you can say about the arrival in Gibraltar, no one is ever going to accuse them of wasting too much money on unnecessarily beautifying the place or trying to make it look attractive to tourists. <laughs> There's the cheerful Wi-Fi centre for mariners. But you quite soon leave the industrial complex behind the rather scruffy port complex and enter the delightful residential area. Anything on the phone, Gad? No, only, sorry, only the messages that uh, you and uh, George have Okay. I'll check the weather in a minute. Oh, yeah. I'll do that. 
we've been coming here by sea for more than 20 years and the actual welcome area has run down progressively throughout that time. I cannot for the life of me understand why an island, I beg your pardon, a peninsula like Gibraltar that relies almost entirely for its commercial income on tourism doesn't make it look welcoming to tourists. I really find it boggles the mind, though it is very British, that does have to be said. You know, there's Jan's phone for Malaga the entire week. Look at that. 23 degrees, sunny all day long. But now we see how it's going to be tomorrow. And 90% rain and 19 degrees. People always point out that my trips have experienced the most uncanny, beautiful weather, often against all expectations. Tomorrow, however, seems to be an exception to that entirely imaginary rule. So that's your ID card, yeah, yeah. and those are all the things you can drive? Yes, above and below. Well, when I finish in the mines, when I finish in the mines, we have to go the underground, I, I do all this, I'll put it so much. Yeah. The machinery, do all that, come yeah. on. Yeah. And you go in the course for six, seven weeks, trying to drive a machine, use hydraulics, then they give you a red, a red card. Then you go on site, learn, you learn your trade, for a year, then you get a blue card. You'd have loved something I did some years ago. I made a film for German TV about a drift mine in South Wales where they were using pit ponies. Yes, well, I used to work there. A point of a You're joking. Yeah. Well, I'm buggered. What a small world it is. This open air market it used to be tiny, and every time it comes, it's got bigger and bigger and bigger. It really is such a busily, bustly place. Jan's favourite clothes shop in the whole of Gibraltar. We first shopped here in 2001. Well, that's something, Jenny, that I've never seen in Europe before. Mm. You get in Spain, or what you get in Luxembourg too, I can see it, is a sort of a lift in the open air, not in a building, but just to take you from a higher level to a lower level. This is the first park ever in the whole of Gibraltar. It was opened in 2014. It used to be a car park, apparently. You need to visit sometime. But one had never actually realised that there wasn't a park in Gibraltar. Mm. It's been here all this time. Well, only since 2014. Hello, turtle. 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 Come on, come and sit on the... Yes. Yes, come on, we're not going to touch you. We're just going to watch you because you're so beautiful. Isn't you beautiful? Perfect place for it there, isn't it? Yeah. And it's a great residential quarter, which they were still building last time we were here. It's all finished now. And it does look just a little bit like Singapore. Now this is a bit I was hoping to find. Their new waterside marina development. And I must say, it doesn't half look alright. Well, I could live here. I could live with this bit. Really? This bit would do me fine. <laughs> <gasps> we really ought to get a bottle brush plant, you know, but it's so pretty, so delicate. I think the ones at home are just in bud. Mm -hmm. But on a good summer they do bloom. Yes. We have seen them, haven't we? Yeah we have. 
This certainly looks like the place for lunch. Lots of water's edge enjoyment and uh, not a crowd in sight. This is what we like. Well, I have to say, yeah, that is quite a splendid looking platter for us to share, is it not? Isn't it just? I must say, you do look absolutely in your element. I certainly am. <laughs> and cheers to you, my little poppy. Mm. Cheers, Mmm. That homemade lemonade. It's very lemonade and very homemade. What an idyllic little bistro. Well, I beg your pardon, would you take to? What an idyllic fancy restaurant this is. <laughs> <laughs> Mustn't downplay them. They really have done well. They've done well. That was very, very good. And lunch is on me, darling. Oh, I say that was a treat. Very much. Thank you very much, Poppet. Thank you. This day gets better by the minute. I have to say, this is a lovely quarter of Gibraltar, and we will be back again. I've got a sneaky feeling that we come here twice between now and Christmas. If so, we know where we're coming. We know where we're coming, and we'll be we'll be regulars. Yes, and next time I think we'll have to stay. Ooh. I thought it was going to be a still, but it's not, it's a video. Oops! Can we do a still? <laughs> yeah, we'll take a still in a minute, what the heck. Yeah. Anyway, the coffee's gone. Is it? Oh, oh my God, all right. It's lovely coffee. Just as well as video then. Great part of uh, Gibraltar, this, you know. At the Gibraltar Botanic Gardens, as an old person, you are faced with this intimidating flight of steps on up towards the heavens. Only a brave athlete would ever assay those. Well, that's ridiculous. We really shouldn't be walking like this. This great, massive, intimidating staircase. And we're just step case, I suppose you ought to call it. And we're just strolling right up the top. I mean, that's just nuts. You shouldn't do that when you're young. Let alone when you're impenetrably ancient. And so here we are going in through the Jolly Gates. I mean, that's completely and utterly mad. This really is the most inspiring botanical gardens. Every time Jan and I come to Gibraltar, we always come here. And no matter how often you've seen it, it always takes your breath away. Up goes the gondola to the summit, but we decided this time we wouldn't. Chap was telling us there's a 40 minute queue for tickets. Well, I think we'll skip it this time. We've been there so many times. Grove is quite new. This grove of Dracaenas, absolutely spectacular plant nestling beneath the Dracaena trees. These lovely wildflower meadows, all seeded and otherwise just left to their own devices. Nasturtiums, never got them to grow. Desert dwarf pomegranate coming into flower, exactly the same as the one outside our bathroom, which is thinking about coming into leaf. Sometimes you think, surely we can't be in Gibraltar, and then you realise, oh, yes, we are. <laughs> what a gorgeous botanical garden this is. Really love it. An awful lot of botanical gardens look quite like our back garden at home. <laughs> this, however, does not look anything like that. We had the best of the weather today. So tonight, for dinner, just a little curry. So how was the Catalan creme, yeah? Very nice, very nice. It was good. Very nice, and that little touch of lime. Yes, I think you might have been right, I think it was lime. I do like lime juice. I think it's probably nicer than um, lemon. Yeah, it has a certain subtlety, doesn't it? Yes, more of a, and slightly sweet as well. I do like your new top. 
I do. A very special, gorgeous person. You're joking. Yeah. Not on spotty old fart then. <laughs> no, a Wasn't it wonderful to go and see the woman in your favourite shop and you just pick up the conversations that you were there last week? I know, it's amazing. But she has got great stuff in that shop and that looks lovely. So that green bit across the middle of the picture, that's the botanical gardens. And Jan and I walked to the far end of that and then right the way along, including that uh, detour for lunch. So by the time we did the whole lot, it must have been, I don't know, six or seven miles, perhaps even more. And the rock sits there, looking magnificently Leon-esque, as he always does. We certainly had the best part of the weather. <laughs> Pearson's in a very nice British Spears Rock house, getting nipples pierced. Yeah, she put them on, they were gorgeous. Gorgeous. I took them off. I roused up like a waffle. <laughs> Dear Malaga, well, it's, um, oh, well, it's going to be raining all day. At least that's what they said yesterday morning. However, they can't always get it right. Thank heavens. I think this is what all the passengers had come for. Certainly what we came for. Never known a trip to be quite so truly therapeutic in absolutely every sense. The perfect morning. Isn't it just? Mm, very much so. You have a very contented pox. Al fresco. On a ship really is special, isn't it? It's very, very special. So what do you think, Jenny? Ta town's over there. The castle's up there, but we've done an awful lot of Castle. Town and castles, mm. so I just think we we'll just move you around. I think. Penultimate port of call is just perfectly positioned for a beach day. All these grotesquely elaborate symbols of Christianity getting ready for Holy Week Parade. I had to buy this because it was shaped like a heart and so romantic. Aww. Aww. Press Lovely. Share. Pudding. Pudding. After, after our tapas lunch. That vast Malaga bullring. Curious how we so rarely stop to reflect that the bullring is the Colosseum. The Colosseum isn't ancient Roman history. The Col Colosseum never went away. It just slowly mutated into a bullring. So the Roman Colosseum exists to this day. The decent weather hasn't migrated so far away for everybody. I actually put on my swimming costume today underneath my shorts. Just, uh, well, it seems a bit of a silly idea, but I'm not silly enough to actually go in the sea. It's not that season just yet. Well, we just stepped outside arrivals and the weather seems to be practicing its um, opening up fully. Wow. And over the way, Regent, the class in recent years. So the weather forecast wasn't entirely wrong. Well, that doesn't look at all friendly now. Time, I think, for a medicinal Cravies ginger ale. <laughs> Indeed so. Cravies alcoholic ginger ale, yes. should you say. Yes. Cheers. What a beautiful, serene evening. Not quite so delightful if you look over the town though, which has disappeared under a heavy consignment, a deluge, a monsoon of rain. Actually, it's just starting to fall here. An awful lot of people are still on shore, poor buggers. It's amazing how you speak right to my heart. Without seeing a word, 
drown out the crowd. Okay, nice young man. He's a terribly precise guitarist. I must say, I have enormous. I wish I could play the guitar like that. Makes one quite ashamed that one never learned to play the guitar properly. What a beautiful sane away. Isn't it just? Our last day in the med district. That's not the med tomorrow. Oh, okay. Yes, we're out of the med tonight at midnight. Bye bye, little med. Bye bye. We love you. <laughs> So what's with Boo Blair? I haven't heard anything about him for quite a while. Well, his son had um, leukaemia. I, I remember that. Um, and he said he wanted to spend more time with his family. Um, I've not heard anything more about it. I think he does the occasional big, big show. So when he said I'm going to retire to spend more time with my family, the one person in history who actually meant it? Um, I believe so. I'd certainly spend more time with my family than go out and work as a rule, wouldn't you? Yeah, especially when you've got enough. Oh, you're right. Yeah. Well, they both have, haven't they? Yeah. So it's Mike Appleton. Michael Appleton. If I was Boobly, I'd expect a bit of the royalties, wouldn't you? Yes, certainly. People, you know, performing all You're my not stuff. Dead yet. <laughs> <laughs> all these screens are carefully contrived to ensure that the audience can never see what's going on on stage. <laughs> Well, it's a new point, it's a new day for me. And I'm feeling good. Breakfast is nice. Yes, it was. Prunes. Very nice. Prunes. And fruit salad. And fruit salad. And yogurt. Long Bio yogurt. And the bananas. Now, if you can find bananas and then good ones on the ship, mm -hmm. then they are very well worth taking because they can sell for up to three pounds each amongst the other passengers. <laughs> <laughs> but before dawn today, in Cadiz, and the locals pronounce it. Cardis rather sounded like Cardiff. Well, the sun has riz. Still chilly morning though. Last time we walk ashore on this trip. Good morning. We are in Cadiz. We are sitting on the shuttle bus that takes us to the gates of the port. The port, and then we're on our own. Last port of call too. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Uh oh. Oh. Well, you've got two nice lectures. To give, well, I've got two lectures to give. Uh, whether they're nice is a retrospective judgment, and I very much hope you're right. <laughs> <laughs> oh. The official forecast and published in the ship's newspaper said today was going to be cool and showery. I have to say I'm inclined to believe weather forecasts a little less as every day ticks by. There are some 
beautiful, remarkable, unforgettable little lanes in this town. Ah, we both feel better now. Well, Daddy, I took a photograph of you on this very spot 21 years ago, almost to the day. Good heavens. That's our um, local bistro here. Yeah. yeah. Our beer stop gives us an interesting insight into local culture. All nicely in Spanish, and there, of course, is Dear Barney from The Simpsons. What else would you expect to find these international days? I just love our little alleyways. You don't have to walk far to get away from everybody but the occasional local. I know. It's lovely, isn't it? Yeah, it is. But this, of course, is the, uh, the main drag. My God, this place is getting lively. If you run a vegetable shop, that's the way to run it. What a peaceful place in which to live. When they go to redevelop a block, all you see is these towering white walls. No idea how long it is since they were built. Well, this is as counterintuitive as any could possibly be. We have just walked up a really gentle hill and we've come to the sea. Now, admittedly, we end up on the top of the cliff, sure. But I spent all my life always saying to the kids, if you want to find the sea, make sure you walk downhill towards it. Well, there we are, an entire lifetime of bollocks. Literally. Next stop, America. Just think, people have been here for thousands and thousands of years. It's where the Moors, the Arabs, left their mark. But we never talk about the Arabs because we don't like to think that they brought civilization to Southern Europe. It is such a lovely day. And yes, it took the Spanish many years to get rid of the Arabs. <laughs> <laughs> Almost a thousand. A thousand years. And now they're coming back in droves, buying properties. Uh -oh. <laughs> it's true. Showery day today, they said. Fat lot they know at the Met Office. Amazing view though. Yeah. Excellent. Just three and a half thousand miles of open ocean. Yeah. Bloody incredible. Mm. Hello, America. Don't think they can hear though, quite. There we are, Daddy. We found what we needed. Yeah. This, is, this is dead medicinal. This is. with turbans and where the hell am I? <laughs> this is going down in the memory bank as a favourite beach bar on the tip of Cadiz pointing right out into the Atlantic Ocean and right at the edge of the sea.
you're using the bagpipes are Scottish, but they're everywhere. We've seen them from right over in the west in Galicia to right over in Eastern Europe in Bulgaria. You always think, as I've so often said, that pasties are Cornish. No, you get folded breads with crimped edges everywhere. This one is Spanish, empanada. But that's a Cornish pasty. Who on earth even smells like a Cornish pasty? They're not as exclusive as you think. Definitely Spanish, but definitely a pasty. Final picnic. Final day ashore. Yeah. What a fantastically perfect trip. Very, very lovely. And to end up at the end of it on the nice sandy beach, on that tip of the Isle of Cadiz. Well, I'm. I was going to say I've lost for words, but since I'm speaking, I can't be. <laughs> but I almost am. quick supermarket shop for some little Easter goodies. When those moors built their walls, they didn't half know what they were doing, didn't they? Great to see everybody thoroughly enjoying themselves, isn't it? Yes. Last day ashore. Yes. And, and it's they, been really good for everybody. It has been good for everybody. Yeah. It's a great day to finish on. Yeah. Hi. A little relax on the after deck before we sail away. Our final sail away, and it's just perfect for everybody. romantic sunset. Isn't it? I must say two movies and a Tamla Modown concert in the middle. That's not bad for a night, is it? <laughs> not at all. <laughs> what a beautiful sunset. Isn't it beautiful? Yeah, I think having a transparent lift. Yeah is good on a ship. Yes. Not that original, but on ships, it's always has that spectacular touch. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Two lumps. And another one. Looks like we've done a real good 20 knots now. Get back home. Boom, boom. <laughs> yeah, it does look like proper speed, doesn't it? Yeah. Yeah, he's pacing back at a decent speed. I agree. It's nice to see him coming out at 11 knots just to go to Bigo was a bit of a steal, wasn't it? Yeah. Anyway, he saved the fuel then and he burned it up now. That looks just like a commercial for Costa. Mm. Nice? Mm. Yeah. And I think I've been to Costa Rica where the coffee comes from, where they grow it, and where they get paid a dollar a day for doing so. Here we are looking out to those doors. She's making a perfectly good speed, isn't she? 20 knots. And so we'll pull up in the lift, 
to take 18 and find ourselves a Twinkie. Ooh. What a gorgeous afternoon to be sailing up towards the Bay of Biscay. We're heading up towards Finisterre, past Bigo at the moment. And the sea is still beautifully calm. So often it is for us going across the Bay of Biscay. I've only known it rough twice, once or twice. Don't quite know why it's got its crappy reputation. Poor little bay. It's trying its best. Fun, eh? Yeah. Cheers, this has mate. been a brilliant, brilliant trip. Very, very, very good. Jan has a great adjective for it. Regenerative. Yes. That's exactly what it's been. And I find I find myself properly re-lecturized. Very much so. I was de-lecturized before, so there yeah. you go. My re rejected. That's amazing, isn't it, Jan? Yeah? yeah. Dead calm sea and not a cloud in the sky is just what all the passengers were dreaming of and praying for and hoping for, and it all came true. <laughs> but this is my venue where I give my talks. It seats about 250, and I have had people standing at the back, ready to throw bread rolls, I expect. And we're here this evening to watch the singer before we go to dine. Touch of entertainment. A touch. Before we go and eat. Yeah. Yeah. A bit like having an antacid pill. Yeah. Mm, I should have had one. Yeah. <laughs> you know, we won't need one. You're going to get rosy to see Whether we change course slightly. Now this is the test. We've got Newfoundland lobster. Have you? Yes. And Newfoundland lobster is not crawfish. My bet is it's going to be crawfish, rock lobster. But we'll see. Right. That. Let's have a look. That is a proper lobster. As opposed to a crawfish tail. Rock lobster. That's what they usually serve. Well done, P&O. That is absolutely brilliant. I am impressed. Mm. Good. That was really so good. A proper lobster and perfectly prepared. Yes, full marks to P&O. Yeah, this is very good too. This is water. <clears throat> Jan also has a, a work of art. Oh yeah. That's oh, it. I must say, that I really it. did enjoy that. It's your birthday next month, that's your birthday lobster. Birthday lobster. Just what the doctor ordered. I'd like to go back to something I said when I started my first talk. I said to you, well, A, I'm older, and B, I haven't lectured for two and a half years. And my main question was, can I still give a lecture? Well, with the moral support and encouragement of a wonderful audience like you, do you know I think the answer just might possibly be, yes I can. Thanks.
everybody's sitting watching the waves part. We have come here on some sort of quest, I believe. We have coffee, 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 coffee. A quest for coffee. A quest for coffee. Isn't there a coffee bar called Quest to Coffee, something like that? I think that's called Cost to Coffee. Oh, you could be right. I say. Beautiful. Thank, Thank you. you. You're right. Mm, there is something reviving about a proper cup of coffee, isn't there? Mm, very much so. Belly much. Oh. When you've done all your lectures, a proper cup of coffee is what you jolly well deserve. Mm, very much so. Yum yum. <laughs> And that's our last lunch on board. So uh, let's just step outside and see how it is. How is it, Yaddy? Sorry, I'm blinded. <laughs> blinded <laughs> by the... Much nicer than I thought. Yes. That was our last lunch on board this cruise. Indeed so. So there. Nobody's braving the pool today, I don't blame them. It's 13 degrees out here and 22 in inland ah. at this precise moment. Yeah, as I thought, cruising back home to get some nice warm sun. <laughs> Not often you can say that. Very good afternoon, everyone. Here's the navigational and weather update for Friday, the 15th of April. Overnight venture has appeared various northerly courses through Bay of Biscay. Since noon yesterday until noon today, Ventura has steamed a total distance of 488 nautical miles at an average speed of 20 knots. The ship's present position is latitude 47 degrees, 20.6 minutes north, longitude 6 degrees, 44.3 minutes west, which places us 90 nautical miles southwest of Washington. Heading safely homeward. And the way the moon sparkles on the yes. limpid sea as we come chugging up the channel. It's lovely, isn't it? That's a bit unforgettable, darling. It is. Very much what so. a beautiful way to end. What a gorgeous day to be back in Britain. There's a big container ship over there. Obviously they weren't certain what to call it. So they said to the boss, we're going to need a name. Please send a memo. Hmm, he thought. Oh, I see. So we're not sitting down then. No. We're going to keep active. We're going to keep active. Oh, what a good idea. All right, so we're not finding a seat then. We're um, keeping active. That's fairly lightweight for uh, an entire tour, Jenny. It is, isn't it? it is. There we are, all safely ashore. And the car is a black Mercedes Series E driven by Anis, which is due any second now, so that's not bad. All those poor buggers going down to the west country, they're all heading down southwest and they're nose to tail, mile after mile after mile. We have mostly empty roads because we're heading north. Makes perfect sense to me, Gov. That was a good drive. Yes, we are nearly here now. We are. And he did a good job. Yes, he did, yeah, definitely. Very good drive. Now it's time to talk to you You can go home to your family Absolutely. and celebrate Ramadan. Absolutely. You must give our best wishes to your wife and family too. Thank you, I'll She's doing a great job. Absolutely, yep. And Edil Fitch is in early May. Yep. Well, we'll think of you then. Yes. They are just here. That's fine. Lovely. 
There we go. Look at that.